What's up guys, Gogan here coming at you with another video, okay? Don't really know what to call this video. Anyways, it's about my hotkeys and the, the buttons I use the most to get the most out of my animation. I want to apologize, it's kind of loud in my house right now. There's really no other time for me to record but right now. So, the kids are, it's summertime, kids are crazy, music's going. Anyways, sorry if you hear anything, anything in the background guys. So, let's get started. My, uh, so... The biggest thing that I used in my hotkeys, okay, are add in between, remove in between, and delete key. And at the beginning of my career, I hated, hated, hated going to, you know, the timeline. Um, I, I didn't really figure this out until I started working in the industry, but is going to my timeline, okay, and having to go to keys and add in between a lot add in between function actually isn't even taught i I've, I've asked a lot of people like animators that how they move their keys around and a lot of them don't even know about the add and remove in between functions okay um and i'm like really that's crazy to me um and that's how i was honestly taught to to use add in between okay but the biggest functions the most functions that i use in my career are add in between remove in between, and delete key Okay, and I wanted to figure out a way when I was, um, you know, got my career started, how to like expedite or maximize my hotkeys to get even faster than I was. Okay, so those are the biggest hotkeys that I'm going to use. I will go ahead and go through that and like what hotkeys I have them to uh, have them attached to. Okay, I have my um, keyboard. Um, visual on the screen for you guys so you guys can see what exactly I'm doing. So let's go ahead and go over the hotkeys that I use and then I'll go ahead and go over like how to set up those hotkeys. Okay. So, um, and I will also put like the hockey scripts that I use. If any, if you guys need any for me to put the scripts in the description. Okay. So first hockey I use the most is add in between huge, huge, huge hockey. Let me get so much faster. And I mapped that to control A. So I, I went ahead and blocked an animation out here. Okay. So just so we can like get an example. Okay. It's not going to look anything fancy or pretty, uh, but it is control A or sorry, alt A. And I mapped that to alt A. My fingers are on the left side of the board, alt A. And you'll see as I press alt A, it adds in between. Okay. I don't have to go middle mouse click and go to keys, uh, wherever that is, and add between. I don't have to go to that. I can just go Alt A, and and so I can tell you right now, guys, that if you use Alt A in your new workflow, and if if you're not used to doing that, get used to it. Okay, using Alt A is going to be so incredibly powerful for you, make you so much faster. That's how I'm so fast. Like you guys notice that I do my animation videos in an hour, and I'm able to like show you guys and do my tutorials in an hour. It is because I have gotten so fast because of my hotkeys, okay? And every animator has different hotkeys, but I wanna show you guys mine today. So Alt A is add in between. And you'll notice that, in, you know, that it my my um, my squirrel ball here is going to this pose, okay? Add in between, right here, okay? Next big one is remove in between. Okay, look, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just time this out real quick, show you guys how quickly I can get my time here on my animations, okay? Boom, like that, right? Nothing fancy. Uh, let's go ahead and press S. S is obviously hockey, it's already built into Maya, okay? And let's add some hang time into here, okay? It's a squirrel ball jumping up and falling down, okay? So, next big, next, next big, uh, let's add some in-betweens here so we can now subtract in-betweens, okay? I did it as add, alt A for add, alt S for subtract, okay? So, Alt S, I've mapped that to remove in between. Alt S, Alt S, Alt S. And I can press that all day and I can move keys as much as I want, okay? Something to keep in mind when you add in between. It's not possible to make it so like you only grab like this frame right here when you press add in between. Be very cautious that when you press add in between, it takes all the keys that you're selected on and it, it moves from that point on down the timeline, all the keys to the right or left, depending on your remove, remove, adding or removing in between. Okay. Um, now, if you want to go to a separate control and add in between, you can, but that is going to mix up your um, like keys. It's not going to keep your keys uh, like like all your keys. You have to be selected on the controls for the keys that you want to move around. 
okay? Right now I have all the controls selected, so I'm moving all the keys on those controls, okay? Now, if I wanna select just the body and move those around, I can, control A, okay? And control S to remove. Control A, I mean, sorry, I keep getting mixed up. Alt A for add, Alt S for remove. The next biggest key I use, okay? And this is a good one because before, uh, when you want to delete a key, you have to go right click, delete, right? Ah, a nightmare. You don't wanna right click every time. It, it shaves off, it may, it may seem like it only shaves off like half a second or like maybe like two seconds, but like think about two seconds spread out, how many times you're deleting keys, spread that out across the entire day. If you think about it this way, you've taken 10, say you delete so many keys throughout the day when you're animating, you have deleted through all those 10 seconds at the end of the day, you wasted 10 minutes just pressing the delete key. Just going to right clicking and pressing delete key. You've wasted 10 minutes of your day. Now 10 minutes doesn't seem like a long time, but think about it like 10 minutes. Just think about it like this, spending 10 minutes just going like this. Right, just think about that. Like 10, you're, you're spending 10 minutes just to delete a key. That's ridiculous, okay? You can maximize that time and get so much done, okay? So what I've got that map to is Alt D, okay? Alt D will delete that hotkey, uh, delete that keyframe, okay? Alt D, that's my hotkey. Comes in so much handy. So, so far we have add in between, Alt A, subtract in between, Alt S, delete key, Alt D, okay? Those are the ones I use the most. The next one I use the most is the play button, okay? I map that to two, okay? That way I don't have to go down, right? I was spending so much time going down, pressing play, pressing stop, pressing play, pressing stop. You know, whenever I wanted to see what I was doing with my, um, if I ever wanted to press play and see my animation, I have to, I'd look at it for a minute and be like, how's that feeling? Okay, then I have to go back and press the stop button. Again, it doesn't take long to do it, but if you can, do, your your hand is already over here on the keys, right? Just like gaming, okay? And I've gone completely bonkers on this. Let me get back to my squirrel ball. Um, like your hand, it's just like gaming, right? You want to get super fast at your keys to game better. It's the same with animating. You want to use your left hand to like maximize your time and how much time you are spending animating, okay? Make you so much faster. So. Two is my play button, okay? And and then back in the day when, it, you know, when I couldn't do play two to stop and play, I had to do one for stop and two for play. But my, uh, you know, Autodesk made it so two made it so stop and play, okay? And we'll go over it in the hotkey editor, how to set up a hotkey and um, what to do. Uh, I wanted to just go over my hotkeys first because a lot of people know how to set up a hotkey, but if you don't, then we will go through that, okay? Another really big one that I use since in my uh, method of animating, I uh, go to, from stamped, from stepped and clamped to spline, okay, or auto, is, is control one, okay? Control one is another big one I use because on all my animations or most of my animations, I uh, do a, um, you know, I go from clamped, stepped to auto a lot, right? Almost on all my animations, unless I have a very clear and I know my timing, something I've done a lot of times, then I'm going to go from clamp to step, okay? And there's on you can honestly hook up a script to uh, go from clamp step to auto, and like I don't even you don't even have to open this. I'm just so used to it that I do it that way. I should probably make a hotkey to change both of these. You can honestly do that. I don't have that, but I press Control One. Uh, control one is hooked to pulling up the preferences here, okay? Now, those are the hotkeys I use the most. So now let's quickly go through and learn how to set up one, set up those hotkeys, okay? The way you set up a hotkey, okay, is you go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, Hotkey, Ed oops, my bad. Uh, Windows, Settings, Preferences, Hotkey Editor, okay? It's gonna take a minute to load, but once you load the hotkey editor, it's gonna pull up this fancy, nice little window, okay? So from here, you want to go to, um, you can set your own, you know, set up your own hotkey, you know, map, okay? Um, and then save that, save like any specific hotkey mapping you have, you can save that and export that and all that stuff. But we're not gonna go over that right now. We're just gonna to go to 
um, selecting your categories, okay? So in your menu items, you have all the things that are going to uh, be, or that are mapped to a hotkey, right? A million things in Maya are not mapped to hotkeys, right? Uh, because, you know, modelers are different, animators are different, a lot of people are doing a lot of different things, so they can map their own hotkeys as they want. Anyway, so you're gonna go to custom scripts, okay? Um, and these are where all my scripts. A lot of these scripts have nothing to do with what I do every day, um, but this playtime play timeline is mapped to two, okay? Uh, and if you ever wanna see what the script is that you're using it for, you can go ahead and go here. Okay, sometimes you can't find the, um, like hotkey that you want to set up, right? And sometimes it just isn't there uh, because Autodesk didn't put it in there. So what we can do is we can go to your um, script editor, okay, here, and you're gonna to go to this X, okay? It's gonna clear the top, okay? And what you wanna do next is the way you create a custom hotkey, okay, is with a custom script is you press the button in Maya, it's gonna output what um it's going to output what you just did you got to turn on history echo all commands okay i'm going to press the play button now okay play button forward i just pressed play button forward so with that control c i'm going to go to new okay i want to go to custom scripts okay i'm going to type new and then i'm going to go to name uh play animation right the name is play animation you have to do it all one word. It's silly. And then what's the description? It plays the animation, right? Really simple. It plays the animation. Okay, there's that. Now you have to type in the script here. Control V, right? I did Control C. I echoed all commands, okay? And then I pressed the play button and that gave me the output of what that is doing. The output was play. I gotta press stop and play, right? But the play button is, in fact, let's go like this. Play, play button forward. This doesn't matter here, playback state changed. All that means is like, it's Maya saying, oh, we are now playing. But all you need is this play button forward, okay? And it says press the escape key to stop playback, but we don't need to do that. So let's stop. We're gonna copy and paste play bu bu button forward, control C, we're gonna paste that in here, control V. Uh, now we are going to do save runtime command. Save runtime command is now going to put in here play timeline. Okay, that's what I named mine is play timeline. I don't want to save this because when I press save, it would have saved it to here. So let's just go. Let let let's do it actually. Uh, play description play. There's that. Save. Runtime command has been saved. Let's see, custom scripts. Play, it put it right at the bottom, play. There's a bunch of like stuff I have in here for that doesn't matter, but it put it at the bottom here and that is play, okay? Um, I can go ahead and delete it if I want to, just gotta select it, delete. Since I already have set up on my computer, I already have it here, so that is what I do. So. There is another hotkey I actually use all the time, like probably more than the play button, okay? And that is uh, this awesome little doodad here. Uh, if I, I, I toggle from orient, the, I toggle the orient or toggle like world orient, object orient, and gimbal orient, okay? And the way I do that is I have it mapped to the tilde key. The tilde key is that little fun one right next to the number one button. It doesn't, it's not on my keyboard here on the screen, but it's right next to the num number one button. It's called tilde, okay? What tilde does is, so if I rotate my ball here, okay? Now I'm in world space. I press tilde. I am now in gimbal space with my script. I press tilde again. I am now in object space, okay? This allows me to really quickly go from object to world space and then I go from on um, the like translate, I go from object to world. There's no gimbal obviously because it's not a rotation. Okay, but I'm able to go to object and world really quickly. Okay, that's another one I use. And that's a custom script, script that I have to attach to my uh, YouTube video that I will give you guys. Um, and so you can you know, get that into your workflow, okay?
But that is how you um, make your own custom scripts, okay? Now, let's go ahead and set up the add in between and remove in between, okay? Time slide keys, uh, time slider edit keys. I think I had to set this one on myself. I think it's somewhere in the menu, in the, in the menu items, but I tried it and it wasn't working. And so what I went ahead and did is I went to my script editor, okay? We're gonna show, I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up. Script editor, ec history, echo all commands, okay? And then I'm going to uh, go here, go here, okay? Make sure this, so make sure you have all everything selected. First, you have to make sure, like you wanna clean history, okay? So that it doesn't show you a bunch of garbage that you don't need. So select, make sure you ha have everything selected or one of your things selected, it really doesn't matter. Clear the history. Come down here to your timeline, clear your history again, <laughs> and now right click, it's gonna show you the right click, and then go to keys, add in between, okay? Time slider keys, add in between. That's the only thing you need. Highlight that, like this. Copy, control C, copy that. Then go back to your script editor, I think it's right here. No, not your script editor, sorry, your hockey editor. And you're gonna paste, you're gonna create new. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna call it name add in between. Okay, then you're gonna write the description, adds in between. Okay, and then after you've added that in between, you're gonna copy and paste that. There it is. Same thing for remove in between. Okay, then you're gonna save that runtime command. Then over on here on the on the side, you are going to um, no, don't save that. You're going to just map it to whatever you want, okay? Um, so when you map it to whatever you want, let's say I want to map this, whatever this is right here, to Control-D, right? It's going to come up a pop-up window that says, hey, Control-D is already mapped to duplicate. I didn't do Control-D on purpose on any hockey because I already, like, I want to keep the duplicate. That's a huge, like, asset. Like, that's a huge, like, hockey in Maya that I wanted to keep. So I'm like, oh, okay, control D's map to this. No, I don't want that. So let's see, control, control T. Like, what the heck is control T right here? What the heck is control T, okay? Um, assign un universal ma manip. I have no idea what control T is. I have no idea what a universal manip is. So I go ahead and, yes, let's now map that to control T. Of course, it's now a way like you have to be careful, okay, and read what it's gonna over over like overwrite. But I I don't ever use universal universal manip, so it's fine that I put it to control T. But anyway, guys, I hope that makes sense. A lot of people asked me for my hotkey setup. Um, that's the hotkey. I could probably use more hotkeys to make me even faster, but that's just what I've used for years, and I've gotten really fast with that workflow, and it's really awesome. And and that's my hotkey setup. I. Um, and I'm really happy that I could share that with you guys. Hopefully it makes you better. Um, also, I also want to mention that I use a stylus, okay, uh, for my mouse. Uh, you'll notice I was clicking the mouse button here. I actually don't use a mouse. I have my clicking, like my pushing down on my stylus mapped to left. And then I have this right here mapped to right. Right, right here. I have the button, the bottom button mapped to the right click. And then I have the top button map to um, middle mouse click, okay? Um, and that's how I'm able to like move around in Maya and all that cool fun stuff. Anyway, so thanks for watching guys. As always, I have my Discord server. Please come on by, leave your shots. Uh, I leave feedback as much as I can. Uh, there's a lot of people in there leaving feedback and leaving reviews and it's a really great community. More and more people are jumping in and it's a really exciting place to be. It's a really fun place to be. There's going to be some cool future stuff coming out that I'm going to release in the channel. So please come on by uh, just to be a part of the community if you don't even leave a review. Okay, leave, like leave your shot for me to review or anybody else for a review. Uh, please come on by. It's a great place to be. Uh, please, uh, you know, check out all the other videos on my YouTube channel. You know, go look for me on Twitter. It's Gogan Animation. Go look for me on Instagram. Tyler Gogan is my handle. Um, anyways, there's a lot of places to find me. A lot of places to find my videos. And thanks for watching. Happy animating, guys.